We're going to add uh, the wraparound pass real quick. I want to talk about it. I'm going to put a defender in here as well. So give them the basketball right now, and I'll have you step in in just a second. So let's talk about this pass, first of all. And, and the wraparound pass is how you, this, the time to use this, let's ask you guys, because you guys did a great job answering last time. How would you use and when would you use uh, wraparound bounce pass or chest? It could be a chest pass too. When would be a time to use that type of pass? All right, you're getting trapped, very good. Or you've got pressure defense, you picked up your dribble and you've got somebody on you. You've got to be able to step around, protect the basketball and get it to an open player. When might be another time? Yeah, postman. So I'm down here posting up. We don't feed the big men enough. Hey, I was a postman, very rarely got touches unless I went and rebounded. You know, we got to be able to get the ball inside. And so being able to make that pass around a defender to get it to your post. Okay, good job, man. You guys are right on it. So anytime you're pressured or trapped, anytime we want to get it to the post, this is a good time to use the wraparound pass. So here's, there, there's, there's different ways that you can do this. I'm going to teach you the way I think is the most fundamental. Don't always have to do it this way, but let's just talk about it. So... Peyton's got the ball here. He's in triple threat. I'm a defender on him, and I'm going to use Kingston here in just a second as a defender. But I'm on him here, and he's got to figure out he can't make a direct chest pass here. He's, he's being guarded. So in order to get to an angle where he can make either a wraparound chest, one-handed chest pass, or a wraparound bounce pass, he's got to get around me first. And the best way to do that, you can use either pivot foot, Okay, but we use the common foot, so let's start with your left foot as your pivot foot, and let's step around me, protecting the ball, good. Notice how he's got his body now between me and the basketball. So he's protecting it. It's hard for me to get around. Almost a, bit, a little bit better angle there, there you go. And he's going to extend his arms out all the way, lock them out, and it's just going to be a push pass down, and it's going to get to him. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to step and meet it. You're going to catch it on a triple, th triple threat. All right, and just stay stationary right now. We're not going to Utah dribble. All right, we're just going to learn this pass. I'm going to turn around. I'm Kingston right now. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to guard you. You're already triple threat. You already catch, caught it on a bounce pass or on a jump stop. And now you're going to go. Step around, boom. And I'm going to come here. So I want you going back and forth. And then I'm going to rotate out and we're going to add a Utah dribble to this. Okay, so right now, just going back and forth. And I want you to go both directions. Now understand this, thumbs down, palms out, right? Big part of this. When I wrap around, if I go chest pass, I can throw it up in the air too. I still want that snap. Thumbs down, palms out. I want to get that rotation on the ball. Bounce pass, same thing. Notice I've got two hands on the pass. If I step here and I wrap around here, protecting, boom, thumbs down, palms out. Up here, same thing. Get good snap on it, okay? And you're just sprinting back and forth, closing out like you would defensively, and try to mirror the ball. All right, here we go, triple threat. Step around, good. Good, protect the ball, good. Good, Kingston, good. Good, stop, stop. Now, what he did right there was a good job, and we haven't talked about this yet, but he did a great job of faking one way, which got Kingston to go down. Come here. And you guys are doing a great job protecting the ball with your body, too. So he got Kingston. He came here. He went down here. Come on. Come on over. And he put his hand down and went up. Boom. Made the pass there. We call that fake a pass to what? Make a pass. Yes. Fake a pass to make a pass. So you fake it, get that defense to buy one way, and then you make the pass that you want to make. Could go from a bounce to a, to a chest. Could go from a chest to a bounce. So faking to make a pass is another great fundamental to learn. So we're just using this one right here as a, um, as a defender just so we have a target to pass around.